well, guys, why everybody's been sitting around and uh, paying attention to the selection and uh, paying attention to what's going on over in Turkey. Uh, they missed uh, some of the bigger picture going on right in front of our faces. I haven't seen anybody else cover this story yet, and I'm kind of shocked. But um, as you can see, the headline right here, President Obama capitulates to big food, signs the dark act into law. And uh, in case you don't know, this is this uh, this fake GMO labeling bill they've been promoting in Washington for a while, um, which really does the opposite of what it says it does. Uh, at one point in time, I had seen someone really break down uh, what this law uh, actually does. Uh, unfortunately, I can't find it at the moment. If I do, I will repost it for you guys again. But basically essentially what this bill does is uh, if you uh, if you make food with GMOs you don't have to label your food as GMOs now they do have to deem that your food with GMOs is safe to eat and essentially food that is made with GMOs is uh, deemed safe to eat by the company telling the government that it's safe to eat. Hey, that's right, you heard that right. But, if you wanna label your food as non-GMO, you have to pay all this money, go through all these uh, hoop, all this hoopla, and go through all these tests, and maybe eventually, if you're lucky, by the end of it, you can have your food labeled as non-GMO. Uh, if you weren't familiar with what's going on with Vermont, what Vermont actually made, pretty much the perfect GMO labeling law for their state. And one of the biggest problems with this GMO law is it straight up says in the law that it strips the states their right to label their own food. So if the federal government can take away a state's right to label its food, it can take away a government's, uh, it can take away a state's rights to do anything which means tyranny, not freedom. 